I used to share too much information with people who were not prepared to handle what I would share with them. In the early days of our ministry, I found it too easy to share too much information. This means that I, was, I shared information that was too personal, too intimate to too many people. It became a joke between Dan and I because women in the congregation tried to get too close to me and they would come over to my house and they would fold laundry trying to be helpful. But then what would happen is that I was lonely and I began to share information that was too personal. And then they would use that information against me. And this created problems because then uh, I would lose respect and was not able to lead them. It's kind of like if you shared too much information with your children and used them as your counselor. So I had to learn to what I could share and what I could not share. And know which friends were peers and which ones were those that I had to lead. And you know that parents can't be their children's best friends when they're little. And just like you can't be best friends with your congregants, you have to have a sense of, of distance, a proper distance. But as you begin to raise up leaders in the congregations and they become elders, then they become friends. Just like Yeshua, when he trains his disciples, there was a point in time where he says, I no longer call you servants, but I call you friends. So it's good to use wisdom and knowing when that time is where your disciples can become friends. My name is Cody Archer and I'm a part of the Revive Israel team. And I hope you're enjoying this series on learning from my mistakes. If you've not yet subscribed to our videos, I want to encourage you right up here, click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and also for more great content, you can start with watching more videos right here. When I come on an outreach to your nation, you need to serve my agenda, right? No. 